Welcome, this is Crimey Queen. If you are joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we get excited about love. This is where we ignite that which dwells from within us, that which comes alive, makes us smile, makes us laugh. Hence, we say the crimson light is life. So the crimson light is our journey to actualize in soulful love. This is where we have fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. This is where we are growing and we are becoming better expressions and versions of who we truly are as we explore numbers and words, biblical words or it could be other words, but we hinge onto the word sacrifice and so that is the anchor that really helps us to make sense of our world okay so we have been looking at the number 10 and there is so much to the number 10 now i really can understand why that there is so much to number 10 because it um is the stem of where we derive we could say we learn that everything come from nothing and then there was something okay i really don't want to get too caught up in all of this but i do know that when i do the numerical value for the word sac sacrifice it comes to number 46 and 4 plus 6 equals 10. so that's what we have been working with now there of course excuse my fading letters let's um just okay so sacrifice comes to 46 and 46 what we have seen is that when we do the numerical value for adam which i have just done oh we have the lamb oh the lamb we have to do the lamb as well because the lamb is um 10 okay all right so when we do the numerical value for adam a D A N, which is one four one four, and of course we are talking about forty six. We see how one four. It's as if it is telling us that there is a characteristic to um, Adam that really takes us from point one to four. It's as if that is our. Um, first four years of development okay this is like a template we can put into other um, roles we could say it's our first um, four years of adulthood we could say it's our first four years of marriage we could say it's our first four years of employment but that is what I'm talking about it's as if it's saying that these are the first of the first four years of any of these um, whatever it is we choose to do that is a template in itself that marks or depicts um, the maturity of that which we is necessary before we can move on to another stage and that's what I think that Adam really means that one to ten takes us into that one to ten of course the stage of um, puberty I am um, starts at ten we could say um, so we are well I think it's a bit more but you are 10 you in your teens then okay so um in that 10 it's really presenting a state of um a state of newness is that you are presented with that stage of um of polarities but yet still in its purity its pure state it's as if there was the pen for instance there is the pen here but it's the cover to really protect it so I need to understand the dynamics of how this function the function of this if I want to make it work for me um, for a while if I can keep it exposed um, naked as Adam and Eve were <laughs> as Adam and Eve were and perhaps that's what it what happened of course after eating of the fruit we were told they were naked they didn't know how to cover themselves so this is what it's about the ability to um, understand um, that there is another stage to see beyond where you're at and so 10 is really as I say it's the pen okay um, so there we look at um, Adam, which I was saying that coincides with 10. 
and we are told that we are Adam. So I'm taking comfort now in this um, learning um, because I'm so happy and grateful to have the opportunity to see this in another way. If 10 is really a representation of pureness and goodness, then it means that I can always take the um, position of saying, I can always do something new with me. That me, me is nine, <laughs> me is that birth, you know, or I also equals nine. So, but it's after birthing, it puts me at ease or puts my mind at ease to know that I am always at a position or stage of new birth, newness. When we do the word newness, that also equals nine. So if you look at my nine presentations, you will see that. So when something is birthed, of course, we don't just leave it alone. When a child is born, we don't just leave it without um, cutting the um, cord or, or wrapping it up and, you know, cleaning it or there is something, we do something with, we understand that there is the mother and then we also understand that there is the child, but they also um, one, mother and child. There's also that bond. So basically I am um, being reminded in this presentation, for instance, that I am always at a position to have this newness, this new bond with my creator or this bond with whatever um, I'm assigned to do, be, have or whatever choice it is that I am making. So because I am 10, I am of Adam, so I am looking at myself as 10 and saying, but Adam needed a, a mirror, a reflection. And I am believing, of course, there we have Eve, but Eve came as number five. Perhaps there is something to be said for that, that Adam could not really see himself in himself, even if he had, well, we see the word Adam equals there's two fives. Perhaps it was really two fives in that wherever he is, then he's able to see or have that um, that part of his partner in him. Because Eve equals, let's, let's look at Eve. So there we see. We see Adam. There's two fives to Adam. And we see Eve. Eve, Eve. And there is, Eve is, Eve is five, of course. So we see that there is, um, that there's a divine um, structure or makeup that Adam has in him, the two fives. Okay, perhaps we could say, Eve, we can say that too, Eve is really carrying that part of Adam, whichever way we want to look at it, okay. But isn't it really that, hey, and perhaps whichever way you want to look at it, we could see that the AM that we refer ourselves to, like God himself too, referred when he says, I am, meaning the, there's the am, is right here but when we do the numerical value for Eve we have five and so we see that this add it's like Adam this is what I am getting added himself to the AM that 14 hair to have that five hair and so it's as if he took on or understood or is mirroring that five aspect of himself in himself right here. Now, it would also denote that that is very important, an important part or was an important part for Adam to be able to see, to see five or to see Eve and not the other way round. It's no wonder Eve would be the one to hand Adam or to offer him of the fruit. 
she would be the one to offer him the fruit, so he would, it would be necessary that he would have to have in him an aspect of, of Eve that he could recognize. So basically, um, we see at every point of creation, here with um, 10, we're talking about number 10 or number 5 of every point of creation, everything had to meet each thing that mattered on its merit, on its on the same numerical value, on the same numerical vibration. It had the it had to match. So it's no point I'm handing you something and you can't see me or you can't sense me. So you it would be necessary for you to have something of yourself, of me like myself in you for you to recognize. There would have to be, um, of course, and it's no wonder it is said that, of course, the rib was taken from Adam to create Eve. And so in that case, that would make sense that, um, that so in this case, he would be able to recognize Eve. Otherwise, if there's nothing of him, or it could be the other way around, <laughs> if there was nothing like about himself or nothing of himself within Eve in which he could recognize, that goes back to Emmett Fox. Nothing can come into your consciousness unless you first find something like itself on which it could attach itself to. Oh, I just love this because that was life changing for me. Okay, so basically this is the essence of what we are looking at here. Now, as we go on exploring number 10, we will see that everything, um, th or everything that has that numerical value of 10 had to find something like itself on which to recognize itself. Hence, we could say how blessed we are that we could always um, use something as a mirror aspect, hence the word mirror, and I believe the word mirror is really a miraculous word with the numerical value of 10, which equals sacrifice, the same numerical value, so we can see that everything we are doing, and it's no wonder the word sacrifice has this great impact in our lives, hence the story of Christ. Okay, so do join me on um, the next episode of this um, exploration with the number 10 and to see how it mirrors in our lives and how we can use it to become better expressions and versions of who we truly are. Thank you for joining us and I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you have found it somewhat fun or somewhat light and um on be ignited of course so if you like this presentation click the like button and share because this is how we do it we share to actualize in self love stay blessed stay bright be a field because we are planting new seeds and spill over with love <laughs>